Okay, guys, uh, let me see if I get this uh, camera straight. Uh, okay, uh, this is uh, the 1960 Revell Impala that I just finished uh, putting together. It's a special feature for, uh, for the uh, 60th anniversary, anniversary of the uh, 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 Impala. It's a little something I put together for something special, so... Uh, you will get to see it once uh, once it appears as a feature in one of the magazines. So I uh, just wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys. It's actually based on that kit right there. It's an old kit. <clears throat> I wasn't too happy with a few things. You know, uh, it's an old mold, so there's uh, quite a number of little mistakes here and there that I wasn't too happy with but uh, it's just, it is a beautiful kit uh, I did rush it a little bit should have taken a little bit more time with it but uh, I'm happy with it I mean something uh, quick that I wanted to put together but uh, you know if you do take your time it comes out even better uh, the tires and wheels the, 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 uh, the tires are from model house uh, together with those uh, the, the rear wheels on those tires uh, the wheels on the front are from uh, another resin manufacturer that I got from I kind of fitted them in there on those model house resins also in the front but they're <clears throat> both tires are from a uh, model house uh, the paint is uh, simply uh, to me uh, I'm sorry guys uh, uh, testers lacquer uh, Hugger orange with a uh, Tamiya pearl clear over it. Not too happy with that. Tell you the truth, guys, I'm not very happy with it. Uh, it's, it's definitely the last time I'm going to be using that Tamiya clear, at least the pearl clear. Uh, I just wanted to try something new, something different, you know what I'm saying? And well, I wasn't too happy with it. I thought it would have been better with just the regular clear on it, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. That's what I was uh, requested to do. Uh, the top is Gravity Colors Ivory. And again, it's topped off with the same uh, Tamiya Clear, Pearl Clear. Uh, it came out pretty nice. I mean, you um, could hardly notice the top, the pearls on the top. You could definitely see the pearls on the paint a little bit. As you can see, you can definitely do see the pearls. Uh, on, uh, on the paint itself it's more noticeable on the orange than it is on the uh, ivory color uh, but other than that it I mean it turned out pretty nice I'm, I'm happy with it I'm not uh, I'm not gonna complain much just wanted to take a video of, so you guys can check it out you go low a little bit so you can see a, uh, more of the gloss on the paint because it's a little bit difficult to try to show off the gloss in this paint is very glossy uh, and again it could have come out a little bit glossy a little bit shinier but again uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not crazy about buffing these uh, Tamiya clears at least the pearl clears but uh, again if I would have gone with the regular clear it definitely would have been a little bit better but uh, I'm not gonna complain much it's something that I had to put together uh, quickly and you know it's done I'm happy uh, but again 1960 Revell uh, Impala for you guys to check it out all right let's get it over from the top so you can see the uh, the actual let me see uh, there you go a long time I haven't used this uh, this camera so it's a little bit challenging but uh, it's okay it's pretty nice again a nice kit that with a little bit more time could come out a little bit better but I'm happy with it I hope you guys like it too man Thank you guys.